Hey guys, it's Natalie Contness, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my finished drawings of the South Park wrestler alter egos. Now this is from the 10th episode of South Park Season 13. This is the episode where the boys parody World Wrestling Entertainment, but they call it WTF, which stands for Wrestling Takedown Federation. So here we go. First off, we're going to start off with Butters as Triceratops. I already showed him, but I decided to show him again for this video. As you can see, he's got like a mohawk hairstyle, and he's usually shirtless, but I made him wear a green shirt with a blue Triceratops with red, and he wears these black, what looks to be bracelets, this little white thing on his wrist, gray pants with polka dots, and gray shoes, so there's Triceratops. And then, next up we got Stan the Man, who I also already showed too, but this is Stan's wrestler alter ego. As you can see, he's wearing a red headband, and he's not wearing his hat that he always wears, which shows his awesome hairstyle. And he's usually shirtless too and only has like a black sleeveless vest. Well, like a sleeve with, well, there's like sleeves up here, but it's like an open vest. And as you can see, he has a brown shirt that's supposed to be a G for You Can't Get Me. It's supposed to be like John Cena's You Can't See Me, but it's way different. And just like Butters, he has black bracelets and he also has blue pants, a belt, and black shoes. So those are Butters and Stan. Again, I already showed those, but I decided to show them again because why not? And Maggie Gray. Be excited for these. I know it's a bit late, but I hope you like these. Now, we got Kyle as Juggernaut. I absolutely love this one because Kyle is my favorite character. I already drew Juggernaut, but this is him with a shirt on because I don't think YouTube would like seeing anyone shirtless. But as you can see, Kyle is wearing his hat that he always wears, unlike Stan who isn't wearing his hat. But Kyle wears his hat all the time. He's all, he, he rarely takes off his hat. But as you can see, I made him wear a gray shirt that says being powerful is what I live for. I learned that the word juggernaut actually means powerful. I thought it actually meant something inappropriate, but luckily I looked it up to see and it doesn't mean anything inappropriate. And he's got a tattoo, red shorts, red shoes, this little white elbow band or something like that. And there's juggernaut. And he's got a fake mustache too. Next up we got the ones that I haven't drawn yet before. This is Kenny as El Pollo Loco, which in case you guys don't know is Spanish for the crazy chicken. So Kenny's wrestler name is the crazy chicken. And I made him wear a pink shirt and it says Mexico on his chest, but I made him wear a pink shirt. And as you can see, he is wearing yellow and magenta colored pants and black boots, black gloves and black underneath his sleeves. Hold on guys, maybe I should do my impressions for you guys. I was going to do my Butters impression, but I forgot. I was so excited about these. I'm Triceratops! Hey, villains! Do you like my costume? And now we're going to do Stan the Man. Dude, why are we dressed up like this? I, I don't think I did Stan all that well. I'm Juggernaut, and you can't run away from me! I'm not sure what Kenny sounds like as El Pollo Loco, but I'm going to do my muffled voice. <laughs> Alright, now we got a character who I can do an impression of, like how I can do for Butters and Kenny. We got Jimmy as Sergeant Hammerclaw. I made him wear a white tank top. Most of these characters are like wearing a tank top, but as you can see, he's got like a necklace. Actually, these are dog tags. He's got some tattoos, of course, his crutches, a bunch of tattoos on him. And I think he has red paint on his face. I think that's paint on his face. But of course, Jimmy is Sergeant Hammerclaw. Hi, guys. I'm Sergeant Hammerclaw. I am more powerful than you think. I can do Jimmy very well. Next up. We have Token as Congo. I decided to make him wear a purple shirt because Token wears purple a lot. And as you can see, he's wearing a chain necklace with a lock and he wears mostly black. And next up, we got Cartman as the Rad Russian, which is the last one of the regular ones. These are the non-customs, but the shirts are custom. But as you can see, this is Cartman as the Rad Russian who looks just like how he does in the actual episode. And now moving on to the customs. First up, we got Craig as the blue dude. I named him that because Craig wears blue all the time. As you can see, he's got a tattoo and some blue shoes. Same style as Butters, Tokens, and Kyle's shoes. And then we got Tweak as Porcupine. I decided to name him Porcupine because his hair is spiky like a porcupine. I made him wear a tooth necklace, sharp bracelets, and I made him have claws too. 
And then we got Clyde as the Outraged Dino. <clears throat> My voice cracked. T-O-D, short for the Outraged Dino. He has claws and he has horns and he's got a green tank top and green pants. I decided to name him that because my good friend Maggie Gray came up with the name and I liked it. Next up we got Bradley Bagel as Brute Bradley. I decided to go with that because both Brute and Bradley are two B words that have B-R in them. So as you can see he's got red boxing gloves, navy blue tank top and stuff. These are blue shorts by the way and black shoes. Then we got Scott Malkinson as the, as the Sugar Supernatural, and I say, I used, I called him that. I can't even speak today. I called Scott Malkinson the Sugar Supernatural because he eats sugar all the time, which he kind of has to because of, well, you probably know. And I made him have muscles too. It's really cool. Why isn't it focusing? And then we got Kevin Stoley as Star Strong. He looks kind of more like a superhero than a fighter, but he's actually a wrestler. Wrestler, fighter, whatever. And he has a star on his chest, star tattoo on his, on his arm. And I'll explain more about the outfits later on in the description. Jason White as Scar Boy. I named him that because he has a scar on his face and he's got like a pink and purple scheme going on. And finally, last but not least, for the wrestlers, David Rodriguez as El Gallo Valiente, which is Spanish for the Courageous Rooster. I decided to give him a Spanish name because he because he's from Mexico, or should I say he's Mexican. Heart tattoo on his arm, green star tattoo on his cheek, and that's the Mexico flag right there. And then finally, referee Francis, because I didn't feel like drawing him as a wrestler. And that's it. So Maggie Gray, I hope you enjoyed those very much. I'm glad I finally got the request done for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.